Hi, and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh, also known as Connection2005 on the forums. Today, we'll be giving you an in-depth look at the Samsung Captivate internal hardware tour. This is going to be a brief tour to show you uh, the internals of the Samsung Captivate and a little bit of tutorial of how to get one apart, uh, but stay tuned for later on when I actually reveal an LCD how-to replacement video, uh, possibly later uh, this week. So anyways, here is our Samsung Captivate that's completely pieced together. Uh, this is actually a, a live model that, that still works quite well. Um, but if we were wanting to get inside this to, say, replace something on the internal uh, diorama, we would probably want to start by going ahead and removing the back battery cover, removing the battery, and then we'll see that we've got one, two, so we got one, two, three, four, screws right there those would need to come out obviously remove your sim card and your internal SD card and we want to we want to expose these two hidden screws beneath this battery flap to do that go ahead and shut it kind of pull back and down on that and you can actually see in to the the last screw on this side and it's the exact same thing for this side so that's six total screws those would need to come off now, if you've bought an, an LCD uh, replacement, you'd probably get something like this. It's like a safe pry tool. Um, kind of looks like a guitar pick, but it's got three sides, so that way if you mess up one, you can use the other two. And it's a lot better, there, better in my opinion, than the pry bar one. Uh, what you would need to start doing is separating the case. Uh, it separates into three pieces. Obviously, as we see here, we've got the back here. Uh, this would sat down on here and it snaps in together around the, the ring and then obviously the LCD would go on there and it, they would poke a ribbon cable through and attach right here so obviously we can see that that's how that would go together so what you would actually do is use the safe pry tool and begin to place it between the screen and the outside rim and you'd, you'd force it down in there and just pull down on each side and start going around uh, and then you would carefully separate the pieces and you would get this type of method. Some of the specifics that we have here are obviously the back cover, the internal uh, piece with the motherboard, onboard camera, other things like that, uh, the capacitive heat buttons that I've actually just replaced on this model. Um, I bought um, a phone here that uh, had actually ripped this assembly at the bottom. It's common to do when you do LCDs. so. Uh, a better look at that would be, this is the replacement piece right here. This is the piece that people rip all the time, and uh, people actually worry about doing this when they do LCDs. Uh, so keep in mind, I do offer an LCD replacement uh, service uh, on my website at mobiletechvideos.com uh, in case you don't you know, feel like taking this on yourself. Um, but basically, this piece right here, it sits just like this. Obviously, you can see the, the new piece there. Uh, it sits like that, and this little ribbon cable here sometimes gets this this capacitive ribbon here gets hung on the adhesive on the screen. So when they dis they separate the screen, it actually rips that cable. So that's what people are talking about. Uh, this is actually pretty cheap. Um, most places will sell sell you this for about fifteen dollars, so it's actually not that expensive. Uh, but that's a better look at that, so you have a, a clue what people are talking about when they say they rip the little cable for the capacitive uh, home buttons at the bottom. Um, you know, some other things that we have here are uh, the microphone. Uh, this little piece right here actually sits down on top of this, and this uh, wire runs from here to the motherboard up top. Um, that gives you a lot better sound quality. Um, a couple things to check for if you're going to buy a Captivate like this, uh, broken to try to replace it and fix it up. Uh, this is the water damage sticker. You want it to be white. Any signs of pink or red, you kind of want to stay away from it. Uh, you could have some other issues more than just uh, basic hardware problems. Um, one other thing to note is that whenever you do replace uh, an LCD, it's important to clean up any traces of glass uh, around this area. You'll see adhesives and things. You need to, to clean it up as good as possible. Uh, there's a better look at what a fully prepped uh, casing would look like. So. That's pretty much what I wanted to go over today. It's a brief hardware tour of the internal hardware on a Captivate. Um, I know it doesn't really explain how to specifically do any steps, 
uh, in particular, but those videos will be coming. So be on the lookout for LCD replacements, uh, ribbon cable replacements such as the capacitive buttons at the bottom, and a couple other things that I may go over in the future. So thanks for watching. Check out mobiletechvideos.com for more solutions and tips. Uh, feel free to check out some of the other videos in the channel. And as always, good luck.